Colorado Rockies and the Washington Nationals. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And our pitcher tonight, Mackenzie Gore. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. And now the DH, Charlie Blackman. Here comes a pitch. Clips the corner, and we're off and rolling here in D.C. First pitch, 7 o'clock. And a pitch. Base hit, center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. So in now for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. Close one, doesn't get the call. 1-0. Oh. And a pitch. That catches the outside corner. Strike one. Boog, the runner at first needs to be careful right here. He's dealing with a pickoff artist on the mound. Just missed. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. Brenton Doyle now in the box comes up empty with a swing there Blackman the runner at first with one gone to the inning good eye in that spot runner on the go lined and that's a base hit lead runner touches second headed for third not in time he's safe hitting is really easy for some guys one thing that i can see already his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time and guys like that they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane and even when you don't get it great it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder over to first and he's safe base runner with a one-way lead right there all he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move had no intent of stealing on that pitch Ryan McMahon steps to the plate right through there for a strike He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Next pitch is downstairs. Brothers at the corners, one away. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Swing and a miss struck him out. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. That's in for a strike on the outside corner, and it's 0 and 1.
Now a high fly ball out to left center. He's under it. Squeezes it. And that's the third out. Two left for Colorado. And now the Nats get their first opportunity. There's no score. Back after this on the show. Back here in Nationals Park. And on the hill, the big righty, Cal Quantrill. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. And now up for Washington, C.J. Abrams. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. Righty to the plate. There's a strike. That misses the zone. And yeah, the count one and two. And the right hander deals. Pitch misses there. And yeah, that's ball two. Good eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Quattro back to work. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. That one is absolutely belted back there. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Here's Dave Martinez lineup for the Nationals. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away, jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Alex Call at the plate and takes high there. One out, base is empty. Comebacker to the mound. Throws the first in time, and that is out number two. Batting third, the second baseman, Luis. Garcia. And now it's Luis Garcia. That's hard hit on the line. Lays out and makes the play. Great diving catch to end the inning after the pitcher battles through a tough one. That'll fire up the dugout. Time to go hit. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of the second. Here's Jake Cave now. Gore back to work. Cave batting sixth in today's lineup and he's usually in right today starting in left <laughs> swing and a miss struck him out one away Josh here it is hit it three pitch strikeout all fastballs man he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now here's Michael Tolia just off the inside edge. Boog, if I was to break it down and make it simple, I would say right field's kind of a chill spot compared to left field. Left field's that second hot corner, in my opinion. No score here in the second. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. And a 1-1. Just missed. And another ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Mm -hmm. 
Now this is in the air down the line. Sizes this one up. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. The catcher, number 35. Two outs, base is empty. Now the Rockies catcher, Elias Diaz. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. That one ripped. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that is that. Rockies are down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. Leading now it's the DH, Juan Yepes. And he deals. And there's a ball. Next pitch is outside. Dave Lawrence assigned to work home plate in this one. Good umpire, Boog. Very fair, very consistent. Now, I did hear some feedback that he opens up the outside corner a little bit on left-handed hitters, which, you know, for me, I'd be kind of salty. So maybe something to keep an eye on and see if that factors into this one at all. The pitch. Just missed. We'll see another payoff pitch. And here it comes. That one is inside ball four. And I mean, oh, so close. Up now for Washington, James Wood. Foul ball there. Yepes gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one and two. The pitch. And that one is inside. On the ground to first, could be two. There's one, and that's two. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone, and it's 2-0. and oh. And that's a little high. 3-0 down. And that's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. The hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. So, man aboard. And now, Andres Chaparro. Strike one. Right through there for a strike. 
And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. And that one missing low. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Bottom half of inning number two. Swings and misses, struck him out. Nationals leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Back in Washington, D.C., and now the right fielder, Jordan Beck. As the lefty gets to work, and ball one to the right fielder. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's a strike. Back toward him with the breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. And the Rockies jump in front. It's 1-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. So the lineup flips over. Charlie Blackman digging in for the Rockies. First pitch just misses. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. That one at the knees for a strike. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Left hand batter waits. Line drive. Call. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Next for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. The shortstop takes a ball. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's in with a stand-up double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. Man, it's second with one away. Next to hit for the Rockies, Brenton Doyle. One for one with a single so far. Right through there for a strike. <laughs> 0 1 now. Fought off foul. One out and a runner at second. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That misses, and the count is one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Man at second. Got him. And there's two down. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at-bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. 
And here is Ryan McMahon. Went down on strikes his first time through. That misses the zone. Ball one. Two outs. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. And another ball. That one misses. Three and one. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. And a pitch. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Brendan Rogers digging in for the Rockies. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And that drops in for a strike. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a miss as he was late. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. The pitch. Not close with that one. Now one and two. Just off the outside part of the plate. It's a good take. Kicks and deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Upstairs. Really good two strike pitch right there. Surprised he was able to spit on that thing. Jake Cade waits on deck. Tovar on second. McMahon at first. Two out of the inning. Outside and that is ball four. Now a great back and forth and that at bad. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now I couldn't have done it. Dave in the box now takes strike one. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. In for a strike. And a count is 0 and 2. Bases loaded, two down. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Makes the grab. And that's the third out. The Rockies get one by way of the long ball. It's now 1 0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Nationals Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the third baseman, Jose Tena. The right-hander back to work. And a foul ball. Next pitch off the play. And one and one. Quattro back to work. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And now the center fielder. That's a little bit low.
right hander kicks deals popped up drifts towards it makes the grab two down well that was a pitch you got to crush unbelievable that he missed it right there and I'm telling you he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat here's CJ Abrams to hit he's over for one just missed two out spaces empty pitch misses and that's ball two and a breaking ball drops in for a strike in today's game not that many fastball counts but hitters still in the back of their minds they're looking for one 2 0 change up call right there excellent pitch selection to go with fouls one off two and two the wind of the pitch swings through it and that's a strikeout Nationals go quietly they're down one nothing out of the fourth and now the first baseman Michael Tolia And the pitch. That one's in there. And that is strike one. And ball one. The one one is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Got him swinging. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at-bat even started. If you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball, why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? And now it's Elias Diaz. He's 0 for 1. Lace down the line. Could be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. And he'll make it safely. That's a double. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there. So once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. Now it's the right fielder, Jordan Beck. He's already homered in this game. That one fouled off. Runner at second here, one gone. Can't glove it cleanly. And he's going to make it to first, and we'll see how they score it. So the Rockies lineup turns over. Next is the designated hitter, Charlie Blackman. First pitch misses. And that clips the inside corner. Runners at first and second with one gone. Top half of inning number four. In the air, left field. And there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. So in now for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar, one for two. And that one fouled off. Two on, two outs. And there's a foul ball.
Two outs. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he held back according to Ricky Holiday. At the belt and fires. Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. One run is in. Now two runs score, and they lead by three. Now that the center field. Brenton. Here's the center fielder, Brenton Doyle. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Man on second, two down. There's a swing and a drive. Wood raging back towards the wall. It's gone! And they add to their lead. It's five zip. Well, not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry. Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies. Oh, he doesn't get the call, and it's one to know. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. Two down, nobody on. And a good eye there. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Four runs in the inning on three hits, including the home run. An error and no one left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Rockies five and the Nationals nothing. Bottom four. Now here is Alex Call. The right fielder. Alex Call. And the right hater back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Inside just missed. Oh, that two seam fastball is a great pitch from a right hander to a right handed batter. Just really teases the inside part of the plate, runs in on the hands. That one missed. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. The batter, number two. Next to hit for the Nats, Luis Garcia. And remember, he was absolutely robbed of a base hit last time up. And that's outside. The Nationals yet to pick up a hit here. In the air, left field, and it drops in. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. 
That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base hit. And now it's Juan Yepes. First pitch, and he just misses. And the righty deals. Garcia at first, one gone. Next offering in there for a strike. That's strike two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Wood swings through that one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. On the inside corner for a strike. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. So one left for Washington. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Number 62. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep this score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. So digging in, Brendan Rogers. The second baseman, Brendan Rogers. The pitch. That one finds the zone. Going one. Rogers, a former Gold Glove winner, 27 years old, a former first round pick back in 2015. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Up and in, and the count's even at two. Wouldn't chase that time. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Cave stands in now and watches strike one. Action in the pen down there. Number 28 looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Righty delivers. Line drive to short and caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Michael Tolia digging in for the Rockies. And that one fouled off. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Drifts towards it. And there are two down. The catcher, number 35, Elias Diaz. Next for Colorado, Elias Diaz. Breaking ball inside. And yeah, that's ball one. Bounce to the right side. It's through for a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. 
You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Bet in the box again, takes a strike. Yo one. That one hammered, but pulled foul. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Two left for Colorado as they are unable to add to their 5 0 lead. Bottom of the inning, and it's the catcher for the Nationals, Hebert Ruiz. Quantrill back to work. And that's in the dirt. And there's a ball. 2-0. And a foul ball. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Up the middle, sneaks through, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now back, first base. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. And now up for Washington, Andres Chaparro. Struck out swinging his first time. Leadoff man on. It's time to play a little small ball. Get some base runners. Try to dig yourself out of the hole. Right through there for a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. That one missing inside. Next offering is down low. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He circles the bases. It's 5-2. That was blasted. Absolutely no doubt off the bat. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Up now for Washington, Jose Tena. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And that's in for a strike can be tough to bounce back after a big home run but nobody on nobody out you just have to treat it as a fresh inning and that's too high the Nets trailing by three last half of inning number five and a foul ball This one lifted in the air, left field. Kate hauls it in, and there's one away. Now 
And now the center fielder. 0 for 1 with a fly out. That's outside. And that's ball one. Still only one out here in the inning. Boots it. Low throw, and he can't take it out. But a great backup there, and no one will move up. Well, you can't give him two errors on that play, but that's pretty much what it looked like. Tried to stay with it after the bobble, and he might have pulled it off with a good throw, but it's very easy to rush the throw when you don't field it cleanly. A lot of times, guys don't have a good grip on it, and I think that was the case right there. Here's the shortstop at the play, C.J. Abrams. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Here comes a pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Ground ball base now. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. So one out with two aboard. Alex Call now at the plate. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Yeah, the right hater deals. One out. Runners at first and second. That one not close. It's a ball and two strikes. Headed towards the corner. Fair ball. One runs in. Here comes the runner. In to score from first. And it's a one-run game. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. One down. Here's the second baseman, Luis Garcia. And yeah, that's outside. Ball one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Righty to the plate. Ripped on the ground a second. Throws the first in time. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Here's Juan Yepes. A strikeout and a walk. And takes low for ball one. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Peter Lambert getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Number 43 getting cranked up as well. The 1 0. Late swing, fouled off. Rudder at third, two away. A little bit low.
Dives, but it kicks off his glove. The throw is still in time, and they do get the third out of the inning. So it's four runs for him on four hits, one error, and one left on. We're through five. It's the Rockies five and the Nationals four. And we're back. Start of the six, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Charlie Blackman. And a pitch. That's in there. Activity in the Washington bullpen. Jacob Barnes preparing to come on if needed. Ferrer, the lefty, warming up as well. The pitch. And that one a little bit high. Next offering is in for a strike. Swings and misses. And there's one away. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. And a big swing and a miss. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Now a screamer into the outfield. Pulls it in for the out. And there's two away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Just missed. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Now well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Fly ball down the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. So they go quietly there. We go to the bottom half of inning number six. And the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Rockies five and the Nationals four. Peter Lambert gets the call from the pen. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of them right here to get some critical outs. Well, one run game. James Wood digging in for the Nationals. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. And there's a the strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And there's one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. And now the catcher comes up to him. Hebert Ruiz. Just missed. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen. Number 41 getting loose out there. Number 57 getting loose as well. A wind of the pitch. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. That one missed. Gets under and pops it up. Should have this one. 
two away now. Going to have to have a little more discipline in future at bats. That pitch looked good, but you can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or weak contact in the infield. At the play, Andres Chaparro. He's already homered here in this one. Pitch misses there. 1-0. and oh. Foul ball there. Home team down a run here in the bottom of the sixth. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Right-handed reliever. And foul ball. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing for Washington. Still down a run. It's five to four. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of inning number seven. Here's the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. And a pitch. Edge of the zone for a strike. 0-1. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he starts the seventh with a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. So much of good hitting is finding holes in the defense. That's why you're always thinking line drive into the gap. Those kinds of swings really boost your confidence. Next to hit for the Rockies, Brendan Rodgers. Swung on and fouled off. And he'll need to do bad. Rip towards third. Zips it across. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. So in now for Colorado, Jake Cave. And that one lifted in the air center field. Settles under this one. And it's caught for the out. And now, Michael Tolia. Michael Tolia. That's in there. And it's 0-1. Now, this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Kicks and fires. And that skips into dirt. On the ground to third. Gets it to first. And that is the inning. So one left for Colorado as they hold on to a 5-4 lead. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now up for Washington, Jose Tena. And a pitch. And that one off the outside edge. Close, but called a ball. Now 2-0. Home oh. plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Pitch misses, and now 3-0. Number 30, up next for Washington. And he walked him on four pitches. 
It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Puts a bunt down. Oh, a great flip to first, not in time. So what started as a sack bunt ends as a hit with runners on first and second. This couldn't have played out any better on offense. They were trying to trade an out to move the runner into scoring position, but instead they just couldn't make the play on defense. You really need to get an out there. So the Nats lineup turns over. Now, C.J. Abrams. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Pogue, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. On the corner for a strike. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at bat. Nice job right there. Trying to hold a one run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Alex Call digging in for the Nationals. Golden opportunity right here. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. There's a strike. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over anxious. That pitcher is up against the wall. Make him come to you. And that one in the air center field. Brings it in. Both runners tagging. To third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Well, we got ourselves a new ball game. Nice job right there at the plate. Sacrifice fly, and he gets in the tie and run. So up next, Luis Garcia, one for three. Left field. He's got it. Runner tags from third. Throw home. Not in time. The run scores. And it's 6-5. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. So the Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm. Number 41. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Juan Yepes digging in for the Nationals. Fastball for a strike. Going one. And that one is inside. That misses. Ball two. Abrams off of first with two away. Right through there for a strike. That one way outside, and the count's full. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Checks over to first, back safely. Two outs. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Well, interesting, he went with the off-speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Here's the left fielder, James Wood. 0 for 3, a fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout.
And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The 0-1. And a foul ball left side. The pitch. Ball one there. And another ball. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Two on, two outs. Wouldn't chase that time. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Back to work. 3-2 now. Got him swinging. They limit the damage here. A couple of runs in the inning puts them ahead. Eighth inning coming up. It's the National 6 and the Rockies 5. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Derek Law. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Well, one run game. Elias Diaz digging in for the Rockies. The wind of the pitch. Liner staked at first. Yikes, that ball was scorched, an absolute missile, and it almost becomes self-defense as the fielder when one of those things comes screaming towards you. Watch your lips. Jordan Beck digging in for the Rockies. High fly ball out towards left field. Wood going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. So the batting order turns over. Here's Charlie Blackman, known for his late inning heroics. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Movement in the bullpen. Kyle Finnegan looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Looking to get the tying run on base. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. Bounce to the left side. And it gets by him. And that extends the inning. We know you got to watch the ball all the way into the glove. I think he just tried to be too quick right there and skipped the first step of the process. I'm sure he's in disbelief at what just happened, more so than anyone else. So two down, and yeah, the batter now, Ezekiel Tovar. And that one fouled off. Holding on to a one run lead, and we're at the top of the eighth. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. That one is upstairs. ripped and this one could be extra bases around second on his way to third headed for the plate the relay safe well he delivers in a huge spot right there well he's so dialed in I don't think he even realizes how much pressure exists out there very easy swing nice and relaxed this is the type of approach you want to see guys take in this situation Next for Colorado, Brenton Doyle.
late on that fastball. Two down, go ahead, run at scoring position. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two down. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. And he'll two. And a ground ball to first. Should be extra bases. And now it gets into the corner. The run scores from second. They lead it now. It's 7-6. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. They bring a young arm out of the bullpen in this spot, Jose Ferrer. Bringing in the lefty with a left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies. Fastball for a strike. Man at second. Outside. And it's one and one. Just missed. Doyle at second with two down. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Around third. Here's the throw to the plate, but it's offline. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Brendan Rodgers digging in for the Rockies. Just off the inside edge. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs. Squirts away a little bit. Runner holds. Count goes to two and one. That pitch clips the outside corner. And the count is even two and two. And now the lefty, not even close there. And it's three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Line drive, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Dave in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. First and second, two down. Next offering is downstairs. And 
And another ball. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two on, two outs. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. So they get three and jump ahead late. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Rockies eight and the Nationals six. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Victor Vodnik. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And it's the catcher for the Nationals, Hebert Ruiz. And he deals. Vodnik, the six-foot righty. 24 years old and they went out and made a trade for him last season the Rockies have some action in the pen Tyler Kinley getting ready to come on for Bud Black the 01 slider misses outside missed with a changeup and it's two and one On the ground to the left. Tosses to first. One up, one down. And here's the first baseman, Andres Chaparro. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And it's one to know. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. This one in the air. McMahon has a beat on it. Corrals it. Two up, two down. Couple of pitches and a quick out. The third baseman, number eight. First Next to hit, Jose Tena. On the ground, right side. Sends it to Tolia, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nationals go quietly. Can't cut into an 8-6 deficit. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jacob Barnes. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Michael Tolia getting ready to hit. The pitch. That's in for a strike. Right hander kicks deals. Up and in. Going to count one and two. He goes down looking. That's just a nasty pitch right there. I'm not surprised at all that he got the strikeout looking. You know, at the plate, looks like it's a fastball off the corner the entire way until just that very last second when that cutting action takes over and brings it back to clip the outside corner. You just got to tip your cap sometimes, but overall, that's just a nasty pitch. Diaz in the box here lets that one go for a ball. The Nationals have some action going in the pen. Number 28 looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Rainey also getting ready. The pitch. Fought off foul. One down, base is empty. That catches the top part of the zone. And a count one and two. And 
And another ball. Now all even up. Hit on the ground to the right side. Into the outfield. Base hit. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And there's the strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take. Gets ahead in the count. Diaz, the base runner at first with one out. The punch out there. Two gone now. Well, that's the moneymaker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. You one. And ball one. The next pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. Left hand batter waits. Wouldn't chase that time. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And yeah, there's ball four. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. So first and second with two outs. Now the number two hitter, Ezekiel Tovar. This is again five in a row. Well, he's already in some trouble and falling behind in the count makes it even worse. Then you've got to throw the ball over more of the plate and that's where they can really do damage against a guy like this. Abrams makes the catch in and over. So they strand a pair. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Rockies 8 and the Nationals 6. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Tyler Kinley. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Here's the center fielder. Here comes a pitch. In the air, right field. Beck calls it in, and there's one away. The shortstop. Back to the top of the lineup. Next to hit, C.J. Abrams. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Sets him down looking. Down to the last out for the Nationals. Well, this is no secret. That slider is going to be his go-to pitch. Everyone in the ballpark knows it. It's a massive part of his arsenal, and he'll throw it a lot, and in pretty much any count, any situation, and he's going to look to punch guys out as well. I tell you what, the effectiveness of that slider is always a big key for him. Last chance for the Nats in this one. Alex Call digging in for the Nationals. First pitch just misses.
Two run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Rips one to right. Fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Now he'll turn for second. And he's got his second double of the game. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So digging in, Luis Garcia. And fouled off. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. And that's off the inside edge. And the count even one and one. Laser could be extra bases around third. He'll score, and they trail by one. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Well, there you go. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Substitution now at second base, and here's the pinch runner, Nassim Nunez. So, runner at second, two down. Juan Yepes, the next to hit, as the Nationals are down to their final out. Missed with a changeup, and that's ball one. Right through there for a strike. Bottom of the ninth. Down a run. And tying run on second base. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Kinley is just one strike away. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Rockies strand the tying run on base to win it. Well, not all saves come easy, but he didn't let things unravel. Good win for the team today. And a final 8-7 to seven. for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.